Good morning, YouTube. We are in Poland. I am currently getting ready so that we can head out. We got in yesterday and basically just spent some time while showering, cleaning up, unpacking, and just hanging out with my in-laws. And today we're gonna go to Krakow for the day, Krakow. And I'm super excited because it's actually my favorite city in Poland so far that I've seen. There are a few others that I have on my list, but I love Krakow. And so I wanted to take you along to show you what that is like. It's just gonna be for the day, like we are going the entire day. We get there around like 11 in the morning and then we won't leave until 10 30 or something like that at night we're about two hours away so not bad i'm very excited because i love that place it is a little bit cold and gloomy it's like in the low 50s with a feel in the high 40s so not ideal but i guess i wanted some fall weather so here we are so i am getting ready right now i've got all my stuff in my little makeup pouches I got these ones from Summer Fridays recently. I like stuffed with a bunch of different things. But it's because I got the Summer Fridays bronzing drops and the illuminating drops, which I actually really like. And so it came with those pouches. But I'm getting ready now so that we can head out. I'm gonna do just like some light makeup, but I need something to wake up because, I mean, although I don't feel jet lagged and I feel okay, still I'm a bit tired and I definitely look tired. So I'm gonna do like light makeup with like my merit makeup and then we can head out. We are here for a wedding. Chris's cousin is getting married. so. We're we're here mostly for some family time, but I couldn't pass up on the opportunity to go to Krakow. I was like, we're gonna be here for a whole week, might as well go to that city, which I absolutely love. Sorry about the lighting, it's not the greatest. It's still a bit dark because it's so gloomy and stuff, but I wanna go and I wanna try some matcha because I've seen some matcha on social media in Krakow that looks really good. So I'm like, I wanna know what matcha in Poland tastes like. And then just wanna walk around, explore. They have a neighborhood, which was a historic Jewish neighborhood that we never went to when we visited Krakow. So I really wanna go see it because it looks super nice. They have like all these cute little antique stores and stuff. So I definitely wanna go see that. Plus, I mean, it's very historic so also want to go check it out and so other than that i'll show you around poland whatever we go visit i'll i won't film too much of the wedding because obviously like out of respect to them but i do want to show you some stuff because polish weddings are really fun so i will show some of the stuff just to like show you a little bit of that how many times can i say show i'll film some of that just to share a bit more about what polish weddings are like because anytime i tell people about it they sound so fascinated so i'm like yeah i'll definitely share a little bit more about what polish weddings are actually like and it's like a whole two-day thing so we're gonna be there obviously the wedding is on saturday but then on sunday we have like a post-wedding family get together stuff so it is a whole thing but again it's really fun on the days when i don't really want to do much makeup i just like to use merit because it's so lightweight and it just really feels like skincare so it's like my favorite makeup to use for that but because obviously we have a wedding i did pick up all the other stuff so i was considering even adding this one because i love it it's so nice but i feel like it might be too much right now i'm literally just doing like a nice little day out in Krakow. i'm gonna finish getting ready i got to do my hair as well and then we can head out we're gonna take the bus into Krakow, and then i'll film when we're in Krakow, and then i'll share the rest of our polish trip We got a ponchki here. We got a rose one. And I'm sure it's gonna be so good. Okay, you're gonna have to help me because. Alright, it smells so good that we just couldn't help it. Well, you missed the first bite. Here we are. <laughs> that is delicious. Mm hmm. Mm, all right. You too. Can you okay. share? Yeah. <laughs> I can share. Holy mm hmm. You're supposed to swear. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> My bits and beans for their mango matcha. It looks really good. I saw them make it. You just started like Jing Dabri. You're in Poland. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay, 10 out of 10 recommend this matcha. I don't know if you can see me now. It just got super like light. There we go. But 10 out of 10 recommend this matcha. Honestly, so freaking good. So if you go to bits and beans in Krakow, really, really good. I was just filming my little matcha section on Instagram. Anyway, it was amazing. So let's go keep walking.
Ostrapek? Some smoked Ostrapek? What would you call this? Just cheese? Cheese. Like, I guess it's goat cheese. Goat cheese. It's really good. Really good, yeah. It is the next day and we ended up getting in like back to like the city where we're staying about i don't know like 12 30 in the morning or something like that so i'm definitely tired we ended up walking like almost 24,000 steps if not 24,000, something like that which was obviously a lot my legs and feet are definitely feeling it this morning but i love krakow it was so fun it's cold it was definitely on the colder side but it was really nice especially when the sun came out then it felt really really nice other than that it was a bit chilly but we walked around everywhere saw so many things we ended up going back to the babo castle N not like actually inside we just walked like the grounds of it and stuff because it's just so pretty i did go to a pharmacy because that's where they have like all the skincare we walked past one the first one and i saw like the sunscreen that i love that is from caudalie and i was like oh you know what like i'll just stop by another one and we buy it and then we could never find it again so i need to go find that sunscreen somewhere else but i ended up buying this la roche posay cream i bought this one for the first time in paris and i am obsessed with it i couldn't find it in the states i found something similar but not this one quite exactly and i love it so much if you have sensitive skin this thing is amazing it's a moisturizer i typically use it especially when it gets cold or like when i'm having like rosacea outbreaks this thing is amazing so you know just fyi if you do find it somewhere in europe highly recommend that if you have sensitive skin but i do need to go find that sunscreen so hopefully we'll find another one of those pharmacies and get that i just love skincare here in europe especially the sunscreens are so much better so today we're just gonna go i think just visit some more of chris's family i don't know they said they were gonna take us out to lunch somewhere i have no idea i don't even know what's happening i was just told to get ready just following that along i did do a workout this morning because i was just really feeling like my body needed some movement not that i didn't get movement yesterday but you know like a little bit more of that routine i definitely try to stick to a routine when i'm traveling especially when i'm like so far away from home and like the time difference and everything my body just really needs to get back to that routine and so i did do a little workout on the form app this morning i've been loving that app i think i'm definitely gonna do the annual subscription because it's so good but yeah i just finished getting ready i'm wearing my little sweater a little bodysuit some jeans and then i have my bows i've been wearing bows well I was gonna say like the whole time and literally only been here for like three days so yeah but i just feel like it adds a little something and i guess we're gonna go out and explore i did buy a bunch of stuff from reserve the bag is there I ended up getting like pjs i mean might as well just show you i ended up getting the little um vest initially i was not gonna get it but then i tried it in a smaller size and i felt like it fit better it was like better you know more form fitted which looked better Chris got a shirt. We love reserved, honestly. Like it's so affordable and it's like really nice stuff. It reminds me of like Zara and H&M. Not the highest quality, 
I mean, I don't have any complaints personally, though I actually haven't had any issues with them. It just doesn't feel like the highest quality, but I haven't had any issues. But it's like so affordable, it's amazing. I got a denim jacket. I do have a jean jacket at home, but it's oversized and really, really long. And this one was like the perfect like short length. So I was like, this is amazing, I need it. I got this sweater, which was so cute. I'm literally obsessed with it. Kind of reminds me of the one that I'm wearing right now, although this one is more like a thicker knit. I don't know what you call this. I'm a fan. And then I got these PJs, which I couldn't show you when I was trying them on because they were literally like stuck together. And so I could only try one piece at a time. But it's this cute little short set. And so it's like, it says bear hug life. And then it has like the shorts that go with it. So I'm obsessed with it because I do think that I need new PJs. I've had my PJs for a while. And it's always nice to like change some of the set. And then I got this cute little set that is like long sleeve with pants. Also has like little teddy bears. So it's like a long sleeve button up shirt and then the pants. And again with like the bears, they're having like a bear thing going on and I love it. And then this little sweater that I've been wanting to have something like this for the longest time. Just to like wear as a sweater but also like over my shoulders. I was looking at one from like Ralph Lauren but that was way too expensive and I couldn't justify living in Miami. So when I found that, that was only like, how much was that? It's like super cheap. It was 25 bucks. Yeah, it was only 25 bucks. And the one that I was looking at was like over 100. So way better deal in my opinion. My update so far, we're going to go ahead and finish getting ready. Oh, your shirt. Yeah. I got this nice shirt. It was on sale because it is winter time almost here. So oh. all the summer stuff goes on sale. So it was like half off. And then it was another... 17% off, so I paid like $10 for this year. 17% is so random. <laughs> that was that was the nice really part nice. because it is obviously cold here. All the summer stuff, which is obviously what we wear in Miami, is on sale now. So like a lot of things were on sale. This jacket actually was on sale, even though it's a jacket, but it was on sale. Yeah, but they're not going to wear that during winter time. So. That's true. That's true. So that was really, really nice just having so many things on sale. So anyway, we're going to finish getting ready and head out for the day. Okay, it's the day after the wedding and I know that I've been terrible at vlogging this whole thing. That's the thing when you're like spending time with family is you just try to, you know, spend time and be present and then you just don't document things. So the wedding was super fun. We stayed up quite late, not as late as everybody else, but definitely stayed up late. They do this whole thing where like at the beginning you, you go with the groom, you'll go together in like a car or not like a car, but like everybody in the cars, their cars go together to go to the bride's house. Because then you're going to try to like sell off the bro the groom, not the broom, the groom. Same thing, the other side is trying to sell off the bride. So they basically just do this all through like alcohol. And in the way you might run into traffic of people like from the town just stopping you to try to get alcohol themselves. Like they basically form traffic so that you give them some alcohol and then they can let you through so like they form these like little barricades where they're like okay you have to pay your way out here i always found it very funny and entertaining that people in the town would actually do that but they will just get really into it so that was fun and then you know we had obviously like the wedding ceremony and then the actual reception there was so much food they literally served food all the time there was dinner and then like first supper and then like second supper and then like third supper and it was just absolutely insane but so good we did eat so much though so not feeling like the greatest today but now we have day two of just like getting together with the family which is again also insane more food but it's just uh, the polish way of wedding so i'm getting ready so that we can go it's been a lot of fun we have a couple more days here before we leave that's basically my little update of what's been going on and how the wedding is and how all that works here in Poland. But yeah, I mean, beautiful bride and groom. They looked amazing and the wedding itself was just so much fun. So really, really good overall. 
it is actually our last day here like our last full day here we leave tomorrow the sun finally came out it is so beautiful outside it's still a little bit cold but at least it is sunny which makes it a hundred times better so i wish it had been this sunny before but anyway i think you can definitely see the sun we're like how bright my face looks now so we are about to head out today's gonna be like a crazy busy day trying to say hi to anyone that we haven't been able to see and then we are planning on stopping by to try a few different things that we hadn't had time for so zapikanka which is like a delicious like flatbread type of thing that is just so good i have to show a video of that when we get there and then these polish hot dogs which are super funny like it's just like this bread and you just like put in the hot dog in there like it's just like a whole different thing i don't know maybe i'm just I'm the only one that thinks that it's unique but anyway we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna go visit like a pharmacy to try to get some of the skincare so hopefully i'll find what i need and i can show you the stuff that i get so we're about to head out oh also this trip did not come without any casualties i did lose my beach waver my like curler it completely died i guess it wasn't supposed to use the voltage here like i don't know on their website it says that it tolerates like international voltage but i also have like an older one so i don't know if like that's a new feature and the one that i bought didn't have that i have no idea but sadly i lost my curler so i ordered a new one they actually have like a huge sale right now going on on the pro which is an like, even better one so i just ordered that in the meantime i did kind of like some light like loose waves with my dyson air straight not air straight my dyson corral my hair straightener because that one is like battery operated so i was actually charged it before we left so it had like a full battery pack and i just used that one i don't even try to plug in dyson in here because i don't want to ruin it i actually dyson doesn't even work here like if you try to plug it in they're like we're not even going to turn on so they're like automatically designed to be like you're not going to damage the product it's just not going to work <laughs> so at least there's that anyway we're about to like head out sadly i did lose my curler it's fine it's replaceable but just so that you know if you have a beach waiver just be careful because it might not actually survive the european voltage gotta head out and finish exploring and showing you whatever i can of poland it's a polish man and his polish environment come on tell me what we're getting uh, this is for the little hamburgers in here okay we're just getting full of my soups that I like that you don't like. Correct. But I still get them. Uh, we got ketchup. Gotta get the Polish ketchup. We got regatta. Of course. The seasoning for everything. And I think that's it. Okay. Polish grocery store. We're back now and we're packing because we leave early tomorrow morning and we literally have 12 pounds worth of food and like chocolate and candy and whatever that we bought to take back with us some are like gifts well a lot of it is gifts obviously we're not buying 12 pounds worth of candy for us yeah this is a little bit overwhelming we literally have so much stuff like all of this okay we got obviously the polish ketchup we have chocolate tons of chocolate kinder bueno had to get the white one because that's the best one and then more chocolate these are all chocolate boxes that are gifts that we're taking with us more and more chocolate cookies again more chocolate there's literally chocolate everywhere so we have a bunch of stuff that we're taking and it's 12 pounds worth of stuff to be exact so there's that hopefully we like our bags won't be overweight but we'll see what happens with all these 12 pounds worth of goodies that we're taking also we stopped by a bunch of different like pharmacies and could not find any of the caudalie sunscreen that i was looking for so i know that i had seen it at the warsaw airport i didn't get it then because i was like i'm not gonna pay the airport price when i can just find it somewhere else and i did find it in krakow but i didn't buy it because i thought i was gonna find it somewhere else but jokes on me don't do that if you run into something and you're like just just buy it right away 
I know that they definitely have it somewhere in the Warsaw airport because I saw it. So we're gonna buy it there before we go, like before we board our flight to Miami. But that's our adventure for tonight is figuring out how to pack all this stuff. We are back now. We got in yesterday and I unpacked and everything and I did end up finding the sunscreen. So I stocked up. Obviously, it's this Caudalie 50 plus sunscreen. It's the Vino, Vino, Vino Sun Protect, whatever they call it. And I love this one. Big fan of that one. So I did end up finding it at the airport. I got it. And that's basically my update. We had a pretty good smooth flight. I got some new chairs for the house. I'm planning on doing another vlog soon. So I'll show a little bit more of the house there, but everything was really good. Poland was really fun. We had a great time overall. Let me actually just test out these chairs now. You'll be seeing some new videos probably from these chairs, a little bit more talking videos. It, they're so nice and comfy. Anyway, this isn't a chair section. Bottom line, Poland was super fun, great trip. Can't wait to go back. We try to go around like every two years or so just because obviously like Chris's family is there and then we actually found out while we were there that Chris's other cousin got engaged as well and the wedding is in two years so I'll be in Poland you know at a minimum in two years so hopefully then you know our plan for the next trip is to definitely explore something else I've been dying to explore Wrocław and I just have not had a chance to this time we were going to try to and then there were these floods and stuff luckily everything is better now but we just didn't want to risk it and so we did end up going this time definitely trying to in two years so hopefully I'll be able to show that but anyway I'm gonna wrap up this vlog since we are back in the states now hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about poland learning more about krakow polish weddings all of that stuff all the good polish food and everything else so if you did please give it a like a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time or since i was recently practicing my polish i should probably say do zobaczenia see you again soon